get over what happened uh, on Saturday. You get back on the practice field, go play another game. Um, <clears throat> the first step is you got to watch the tape on Sunday, correct the mistakes, and then go back out Monday and start on the game plan next were, game. Were they mental mistakes, physical mistakes? Um, on my behalf, you know, as a center, I got there's got I got to do some things mentally to call some better, you know, make 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 better calls and protections. Um, you know, some some oversets our tackles overset a little bit, um, a little bit of both. I mean, overset. Over what do you mean overset? Overset meaning the uh, in pass protection. If the um, you, the, the whole goal of t for the tackles and pass protection is to not let the DNs inside inside of them, so they can't you know pretty much open up the gates. Mm -hmm. as we like to say, um, you so got to keep them outside. Yeah, you got to keep inside uh, the guards in the center. You want to keep keep the keep the pass rush on the line of scrimmage, and the tackles want to create width. Did you get a sense that even when the game was still close, that they mm -hmm. were pretty much disregarding your run? That they were that they were coming all out with a rush? Yeah, I think that they um, they knew which way we were going. You know, we we obviously like to run the ball a lot, but um, you know, coach calls passes and. Uh, you know that's what we got to block. We got to do a better job of blocking it. And you know I think that they may have had a little bit of a feel for that, and that may have, you know, they might have, you know, geared up a little bit for pass rush. But for the most part, I mean, we got to do a better job in pass protection. Are you are you matched up much against Aaron in practice? And what's what's that what's that like? Well, Aaron plays three techniques, so he's on the guard a lot. But you know if they blitz, a lot of times he'll he'll come down, and uh, you know anytime I can get that work, it's it's obviously really good. So, and Ty, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you guys see what he does in practice and in the games. He's he's pretty good. So, and Ty's good too. Um, you know, Ty has some good pass rush too. So, has it been frustrating the last couple of games? You guys haven't been able to run the ball the way like I, I know you guys would want to. Yeah, yeah. I think it's no surprise that we we like to run the football, and then that opens up our passing game. Um, so, but that's that's the thing. We can't get frustrated. You can't get frustrated as much as you want to get frustrated and. You just can't because then that's when things really go downhill. Is there anything that you could point to, you know, the struggles with the running game in the last few weeks? I mean, it's it's a big it's a big a big you know combination of a bunch of things. We just got to be better mentally, physically. You know, I don't I don't think it's an effort thing. It's definitely not. You know, we're not playing hard enough or we're being out physical. It's definitely not that. So, I would say it's not necessarily mental mistakes. Meaning we don't know who to block, but. Some of our technique is just we just got to get better technique-wise. What have you seen from in the line as a unit? How you guys have responded? You know, to a couple of days since Saturday. Um, it's tough. I mean, we got some guys out with injuries right now, um, so practice has been. You know, we're trying to. You know, we got to get through practice with a you know a few less guys, but um, um, you know, spirits are high. We're ready to play. You know, that's that's like I said. Then we get back on the field, play more football. Coach Huber said, no, you kind of talk about frustration, but I mean, in a game like that, when the sacks mm -hmm. start kind of piling up at a certain point, is does frustration creep in? I mean, either with yourselves or you know, with other guys on the offense or anything like that. Yeah, I think that's human nature. That you know, if you give a sack up, it's like it's like, oh man, you know, I gotta. It's frustrating because that's that's the worst thing that can happen as an offensive lineman. But um, like I said, you just gotta you gotta overcome it, play the next play. You said you're not being out physical or any of that. What are you guys working on technique-wise and fixing it if it's not if it's not mental mistakes and whatnot? Um, it's important to you know tighten up landmarks, meaning where you hit guys, how you strike guys, your first step, second step. Um, like I said, myself playing center, I got to do a better job at just seeing the whole pic you know the whole picture and uh, to putting guys at the right place. Anything else? Thank you, Larry. Thanks. Thanks.